Hello and thank you for tuning in to Pilot Savvy YouTube. My name is Chris with Pilot Savvy. Today we're going to discuss numeric keypad to control the display settings or the display view on the X Plane 11 uh, flight sim. So any aircraft uh, will behave the same. Uh, today we're going to use the the Diamond, the DA50 aircraft that I've been accustomed to flying with on a simulator. So what happened is I have another video where I showed the, the keypad display but didn't tell the story behind it. I think in that video I actually went through the process of uh, all the novelty and all on the flight simulator. And on this one I'm going to show you, uh, talk about how I got it and the quick and easy way to configure it. You don't even have to go into the settings on X-Plane that makes it super easy so basically you have your standard keyboard that you will use to control it and uh, so this is the keypad I already have it configured I tried to do a video well I did a video earlier and I noticed it was a little behind I used the sim, sim that was on my laptop so it didn't really have the resources to keep up with it and I discovered that when I played it back so I'm doing a repeat video so have a keyboard, full size keyboard, and and then I have the uh, Kadian with uh, K A D A O N numeric USB keypad, and that's this guy. So notice it has all the keys that from this point forward, pretty much that the regular keyboard has. So we're looking at them side by side. If you was just to look at those keys, it looks pretty much the same. It has pretty much the same functionality so the there are some more expensive resources than this one this one only cost me um, eight, uh, what's that eight ninety nine so eight nine dollars and uh, it does everything I need for it to do the more expensive items there they have fancy color ones and labels you see I created my own labels um, you know using a label maker and so these ones here just happen to be uh, allows me to start start and stop recording really quick don't know if you can see that uh, okay yeah this the white tape is ref is reflected there so you might not be able to see it good but basically this allows me to put this up uh, now this you will need to record because you notice unlike this one this full keyboard has the uh, control key that you need to control to configure the keys and this one does not have a control key so what you do here is and I'm going to demonstrate you uh, you know let me do something real quick I don't want to run out of power and be stuck so I am going to Just a minute. Hook up my GPU. Actually, it's a little noisy, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna connect that. I'm gonna put this. This thing here is a good spot for it. Okay. We can go ahead and resume now. Sorry about that. So, uh, 
I was talking about the keypad there, so separate. So you basically use a regular keyboard with or any keypad, uh, keypad with the control. If you can find one of these with the control, you should be able to configure it. So basically, all you do is you're gonna press and hold down the the control key and choose whatever you want. Like let's uh, let's, let's another key thing here. I'm using the hat switch as you can see I'm using the hat switch to uh, move move the display I say we want a, a view of the ceiling uh, no that's not realistic I don't want to I have some pretty precise um, precise things set up here oh look at that okay number pad here we go number lock number lock Okay, so this happens sometimes and with any component that you may be using there. So I'm going to do a reload. I did plug something in afterwards. So this is a good troubleshooting also. So in this case here, I have my number pad, uh, the number lock on, which it should be. Number lock, you can see the little, the lit but uh, LED. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to skip the art reload. I'm just going to reload the aircraft. And the reason, the reason of doing that is because I plugged in after I had the, um, after I had this set up, I went, I plugged in, uh, turned on the USB power here. So now it should work here. There we go. So that causes it. So that's one of the things that, that holds true for any of the flight sim components you have. If you have something that's not working uh, properly, then you just simply uh, do what I just did. Okay. So let me put it back here. This is number eight. I, pr I pre-programmed that in there before. So let's go to here. So let's say that I want to, okay, I have a view here. I'm going to exaggerate this here. Let's say that I want to make this, I want to change the view. So you do this with all the views. So I have this all the way behind me, and then I'm going to, I just use the hat switch to do that, to um, move this around. And so let's say that I want I'm going to exaggerate a little, little bit more. So I'm going to use this key, this arrow key on the keyboard to actually go up as if I'm looking over the seat. So that's never going to, well, never say never. You're not going to really do that in flight. But this is going to be my new view for my left because I have the, let me, Go ahead and do this, and then I'll show you the other views. So, left arrow, left view, right arrow, right view, up arrow is going to be the um, standard flight configuration. How I want to set this. Let me go ahead and set this before I lose it. So, to do that, I'm going to hold down the control key on the keyboard, and I can press it on either one. So, control key. And I'm going to go ahead and just do it. Let's see, try to do it where you can see me here. See the end key, it's uh, key number one because of that over my left shoulder. So hold down this control key and then I'm going to go here. Now I press that. 
So now I'm going to go back up to a, another view. Let me go right over my right shoulder and then and forward. And now let's go check the back seat. You yeah, notice I remember I hit the control one. So here we go. We're looking over my um, over my head, over the seat. So I'm going to put this back. Now, once you do it there, you know, um, you set it up there, you can actually, the, the keys here on the keypad works. So even if this was not plugged in, uh, say that you have everything set up on your keyboard the way I'm showing you, and then you go and you make a purchase. Now, I got this off of Amazon, but I saw it on AliExpress. I'm sure you can find, um, find them on eBay. Um, so they're they're cheap there. I just went ahead and got Amazon and got it the next day or two day or something like that. And um, you know it's part of Prime, you know, the free shipping and all. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back here forward, and you see how everything comes back to where you want it. So let me go back here and correct this here. All right. And you notice you saw me make the changes on the regular keyboard and I'm able to do it here again new out of the box if you was to take this new out of the box plug it in after setting up the keyboard it's gonna honor the settings that you put in on the keyboard now I don't want that like that the, so I'm going to use my hat switch to put this back to where I want it I don't want to be over like that I want to be more in well this is how I want it. So go left, and then I'm going to go uh, over here, over, and then we're going to go out a little bit. And I think that's how I want it. Yeah, that's kind of how I don't. Why well, I don't like to really make many changes. I think this is how I had it. Reason being, you know, you can get a glimpse of the tail and maybe, let's see, yeah, down a little bit. Yeah, so picture you on a 45 degree, uh, you, you're looking over your left shoulder and you want to see that uh, 45 degree angle. So I got that, so now I'm going to get again. Now I believe, I don't believe that, let me check that theory out. I think it's the left control, but let me let me try with the with the right control. So right, and then number one key. All right, now testing by going back up to the home and then back here. Okay, yes. So you can use the left foot control. There's a function there where you have to use, I think one or the other, I may be thinking of the uh, no numeric. So anyway, I just showed where both either control key will work. So that's the gist of how you do the those you uh i use the record keys to record another device so it doesn't just have to be the flight sim i use this for my i use obs and so i use um, my obs custom settings to put in here also so i have these two keys i have my what is that the num um the plus a little different there. It's, it's the, I think it, one of those, yes, the plus key, and it's not the enter. It's another key under there. I don't, I don't recall what it is. But anyway, I use that to control my OBS, turning it off and on. So that's a really cool thing for nine dollars, under ten dollars, for something that controls your, your simming. You know, you're flying along. You wanna check things out. You wanna get a full view of the panel you know if there's a discrepancy like hey this is uh this is not working with this well you can you can um go down here you can turn it on yeah i didn't turn this back on yeah kind of like the sound of that starting up and i have another video where i go through each one of the uh each and every switch and knob that i have on on this panel so so if there's ever a discrepancy you you're thinking that is something Talk maybe system test okay maybe wrong with your equipment 
uh, your hardware you can check it out here just go to this view there you can pan up like so or you can have a pre-programmed button for me it's number five and I can go right there and I can I can make a comparison -cast test pass. like my brakes you know uh, well actual brakes on here is down so I have this one where it shows the kind of floor and everything close down to the ground so and it's my brake as you can see break on I did have an issue with that once and then I checked it out and another thing that's coming up and let's just double checking my dates on those and it is so latest and the greatest September this is September um, 7th yeah, September uh, 7th and it's good to the 5th of October so that's a uh, update uh, Nav Navigraph update it keeps everything current so hit this and it, everything matches as you can see so as I described in the video it's, it, it allows you to have a button and knob a switch that corresponds with all of this and I, st I have a project on the back burner to take all of this this entire bottom here and put it here below the panel so I kind of have it piecemeal together right now with these knobs and switches so just visualize all of those in a row so like this is so anyway uh, that concludes the demonstration of the number pad USB I, cho I mean I, I chose USB over Bluetooth or any other wi um, wireless because of two things um, you have enough going on with the flight sound so if something has to constantly sync with the uh, wireless device aside from my iPad or, or iPhone then that's going to be um, that much more resources